In this video, we'll be going over how to build a great foundation in JumpCloud. Once logged into the JumpCloud admin console, you will find our navigation tabs located on the left-hand side of the screen. A traditional directory is composed of users, systems, and groups, and our directory is no different. End users within the JumpCloud console are bound to systems running the JumpCloud agent, and users and systems can be added to groups. The core of JumpCloud's directory as a service is the data describing your users. To manually add your first user, click the green plus on the Users tab. In the User Configuration screen, you'll find the attributes that define a user within JumpCloud. The first name and last name are exactly this, the first name and last name of your end user. If a first name is mistyped, or if a user goes by Steve instead of Steven, this can always be updated after the fact. On the other hand, the username field is hard-coded when a new user is saved. This field is set in stone and once configured cannot be changed. Why? Well, the contents of the username field gets pushed down to the local machine or group of machines when a user is bound to a system or group of systems. Changing this after the fact would break the account and put both you and the end user in a sticky situation. Additional attention to details should be used when configuring the username field. If you plan on installing the JumpCloud agent on an existing workstation, and if this workstation has existing accounts on it, if the username field of the existing account matches with the username field populated here, then the agent will take over the account and it will be manageable from the JumpCloud admin console. We'll touch on this again when we look at systems. The user's email field, on the other hand, can be updated after their account is created. If your organization uses Office 365 or G Suite, you can leverage our directory sync feature, which allows JumpCloud to be the password authority for only the accounts which you specify. To leverage this, you must first authorize the directory sync, which is done in the Directories tab. Once a directory is authorized, you will also be able to import users in bulk directly through this integration. Additional information surrounding the details of our Google Apps and Office 365 integration can be found in our knowledge base at support.jumpcloud.com. The user group, systems, directories, and attributes tabs show additional information about the user. Because we're demonstrating a freshly created organization, these fields need further configuration before anything will display. Now that we've gone over the basic steps for setting up a user, let's talk about how you can add a system. To bind a system to JumpCloud, you must install the JumpCloud agent on it. The JumpCloud agent is a lightweight, low-resource application which runs in the background as a process on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Unlike a traditional directory where a machine checks into an authoritative controller only when it's on the corporate network, a machine configured with the JumpCloud agent checks into the cloud at a 60-second interval using an encrypted connection whenever it has an active internet connection. To add a system, click the plus in the Systems tab. Here you will find install steps for each system that is compatible with the JumpCloud platform. During the install process, you'll be asked to provide your connect key. This connect key is the unique identifier that binds your machines to your JumpCloud console. Adding users and systems should be your first step in evaluating the JumpCloud platform, as these items are necessary to interact with and leverage other more advanced features of the product. You'll see I've added three users and three systems to my environment. If I dive into a user, I can see that I can now bind the user to a system. Doing so will create a user account on Bill's work computer. With users and systems configured, we can now dive into groups. Let's learn about groups through an example. To create a group, press the plus button on the groups page. A jump cloud group can either be a group of users or a group of systems. Let's start with a group of systems. I'm going to create a group called Apple Computers. And into this, I'm going to add my Apple systems. Now, I'm going to create a group of users. I'm going to call this Apple Administrators. And into this group, I'm going to put my two Apple Administrators, the Steves. I'm then going to bind this group to the Apple Computers group of systems. This means that when I hit Save, my two Apple Administrators will be added as users on both Apple Computers. Any additional computers I add to the Apple Computers groups will also get these accounts created on them. Click the link above to navigate to our knowledge base, where you'll find detailed articles on configuring all aspects of the JumpCloud platform.